on a very cold and dark December day, welcome. God, it's like the, the clouds in the sky are like half frozen lakes and it's slightly snowing. I got about 60 seconds when I open my mittens before my fingers uh, freeze off. Might as well be in Saskatchewan over here. Anyway, um, John Wilson, documentary filmmaker. Uh, did a bit of a deep dive on him after watching the HBO series How To with John Wilson. Uh, John Wilson apparently is from Long Island. He studied film at school. After school, he made a short documentary um, called Lunar about a balloon fetish, balloon fetish community. Um, and then there was an article in Filmmaker Magazine about him where um, they wrote... Uh, Wilson was never drawn to fiction filmmaking. Working on narrative projects before college made him realize that he wanted to strip the filmmaking process down in order to make it as personal and cheap as possible. Excited by YouTube filmmakers creating hundreds of videos for small audiences, Wilson began working on a series of how-to videos. His How to Live with Bedbugs became a Vimeo staff pick. Uh, feeling more personal, more like personal documentaries that Wilson uses in order to work through his own problems or insecurities. How to walk in Manhattan, how to keep smoking, how to remain single. I finished the HBO series, six episodes, um, How To with John Wilson. You've got uh, how to make small talk, how to put up scaffolding, how to improve your uh, memory, how to cover your furniture, how to split the check, and how to cook the perfect risotto. I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. I thought it was at times profound and at times really sad, especially at the end, you sort of get into the beginning of the virus. So it's made somewhat recently. Um, and it's funny, of course, too. But you get the impression that he's someone who really appreciates. Jesus, that was a huge falcon. You didn't see that, but he came really close or she. Uh, but I get the impression that he's someone who appreciates things, uh, that he's a, a really good observer. And uh, somebody wrote in an article that if you're in New York and you're taking a nap on a park bench, you should be careful because John Wilson might be filming the whole thing. Hey, New York. HBO is having a hard time uh, explaining what my show is, uh, so I, I just figured that I'd just try to do it myself. Usually the host of a TV show is uh, right in front of the camera. And you can see exactly where the uh, voice is coming from, which I guess people like. But in my show, you never really see the host. And that's because I'm actually behind the camera the whole time, uh, filming everything you see. So instead of having to uh, stare at me for the whole program, you get to see all the cool stuff that I, I like to film instead, which I think makes it a lot more exciting to watch. I spent a lot of time uh, walking around New York, trying to find the answers to some of life's biggest questions. Sometimes I uh, talk to people that I meet out in public and ask them for their advice. Other times I'll just open up a door and see what's on the other side. <clears throat> and every now and then I leave town for a couple of days and explore what uh, other cities have to offer. But at the end of the day, I always uh, come right back. It's kind of like that show Planet Earth, uh, but if it was only in New York and uh, David Attenborough was forced to film everything himself. So stick with me, and I'll show you how to solve problems uh, that you didn't even know you had. Because even if it looks like you've got it all figured out, there's always a million ways to get it wrong. So anyway, after I did a deep dive, after watching the series, I stumbled upon uh, his background and all that, but then I also stumbled upon a very exciting podcast on YouTube called VCR Party Live, specifically episode 71, The Incredible Short Films of John Wilson. One of the things they talked about, and I'll put a link up in the episode, it's about um, 13 minutes in, maybe 12 minutes in, something like that, John Wilson interestingly used to make 
fake corporate training videos from the 80s and 90s. Like it re referred to those old fake training videos in the 80s and 90s where they were cheesy and over the top and stupid and a waste of everyone's time, but you'd have to watch it anyway. So um, let me play a clip, just an audio clip of one that they play on VC Party, VCR Party Live. Uh, and it is a, let's see, Gas and Fuel International Oil Corporation Employee Training Video 4A. Now, this is fake. It's all fake, but it's hilarious. So just take a listen. is your change. Thank you for choosing gas and fuel. Come again. Oh, hi. I'm Shelly. I'm a crew trainer here at Gas and Fuel. You're in luck. I'm expecting a new trainee any minute now. Ah, uh, excuse me. I'm new here, and I was wondering where I... You must be Chris, our new wide receiver. I'm Shelly. I'll be your coach. Nice to meet you, Shelly. But I'm a bit confused. Coach? Wide receiver? It almost sounds like I'm a member of some sort of team. Exactly. Huh? You see, Chris, here at Gas and Fuel, we are a team. You, me, all of us are working together as a team towards a common goal, making Gas and Fuel the best international oil corporation in the world. I see. And by making the customer happy, I'm scoring a touchdown. Right on the money, Chris. So when I saw this, I really fell in love with this guy's work because it's funny, um, and when you see the clip of it, you'll really laugh. I'm not going to give anything away, any spoilers, just watch it. And they did go on to talk with him on VCR Party Live, like an interview, which was really interesting. And uh, he was fascinated, I was fascinated that John Wilson was fascinated with the guys who host VCR Party Live um, and their like passion for VHS tapes, which I love. Uh, I don't really know that I uh, see the benefits. I know this is probably blasphemy to those guys uh, who are Joe and Nick from the Found Footage uh, Festival. Um, but I don't, I'm, I mean, I'll, the thing I, here's the thing I like about VHS is it's not the quality, although it's kind of has its own quality and it's interesting. But as someone who used to make mixtapes on VHS, that's really the most appealing thing to me is that you you go back and you look at old VHS tapes if you have the ability to, to watch them and they're like mixtapes. I mean, they're just video, visual mixtapes. You have, might have a clip from, you know, like an episode from ALF and then, uh, uh, you know, an episode from uh, Saved by the Bell, the college years and then, you know, you got a half of a basketball, Pistons basketball game, whatever it is. Um, so from that perspective, it's, it's kind of interesting. But I appreciated that John Wilson found it interesting. So I'll link up to those things in the uh, in the description below. Um, and that's all I got. I would highly recommend watching the how-to series. I think it's interesting. You can go through it really quickly. And uh, check out some of his Vimeo works, too. There's a lot more of them um, on his Vimeo page. And I'll put a link up for that as well. So, all right. If you want to support the show and you can, please go to arthouse, patreon.com slash arthouseradio. And uh, remember to follow everywhere at arthouse.radio, and I'm at Spaces with Light. All right, I hope you're doing well. I hope you enjoy the how-to series with John Wilson, and I'll see you next time. I'm cold. <laughs>